So welcome back everybody, we're going to do a, something slightly different, we're going to do a single bevel with an open route. We've got a 2.4mm gap using a 130 amp DC negative. So getting into it, so first run to get that route in, so we're looking for penetration out the back side. So if you notice our tungsten sticking out a little bit further than usual, so we can get right into the bottom of that joint, we're using a dip technique. So as you can see from this shot, we're penetrating through and fusing to the bottom plate and that top edge, creating reinforcement so that it's not under flush from our top plate. So run done. There's a picture of the penetration on the other side. So we're now moving on up to 150 amps DC negative. And we're going to put a weave over the top of that. Try not to disturb that route so we're not going to overheat it and push it through anymore or suck it back. Because obviously if you overheat and melt the route, you can actually create the reverse effect and it will pull the material back towards the joint causing suck back. So we're just weaving slightly from edge to edge, slowly feeding our wire in, just bringing it up to about flush. Because our next passes we will be putting stick over the top of this so this creates the reinforcement which allows us to put plenty of amps on our stick rods. So coming to the end of that hat pass, that's run done. So we're just slightly under flush. You can just see that top edge slightly. So now moving on to our MMA stick welding rods. Strike up, we're using 7018s, 2.5 millimeters in diameter. And we're using this with electrode positive because we need two thirds of that heat to melt all that flux because the flux is quite thick on a 7018. So we always run them electrode positive earth negative so as you can see we're laying that first run predominantly on the bottom plate covering about half of our flushing run because we're trying to cap this off with two runs so we don't want to leave ourselves too much work to do if that bottom run is too far away then potentially we will have to put another two runs on to achieve a 45 degree fillet weld as you can see that rod's melting really really quickly and we're not going to actually make it across the full length of this joint in an ideal world I would have used 3.25 rods and that would have allowed us to get that first run in in one hit. But we chose to do it in 2.5s so that we could keep the fillet size down. So run done, deslagged, wire brushed, nicely cleaned up. Moving on to our second and final run. So with this run we've dropped the angle slightly down so we're pointing a little bit more towards that top plate than obviously the bottom plate because what we're trying to do is create no undercut on that top edge. If our angle is too steep pointing down potentially we will chew into that top edge because what that will do it will create undercut. So hopefully you found this video informative and it's given you something to work to. So if you think that this looks tricky you should see how different it is to do on stainless steel. That video's on the screen now. We'll see you over there. <laughs>